for you, sir? It's a gospel track, sir. I was about I was, uh, a passport, so I'd get I'd go and live in Albania because it's warm. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you what I'm here for. Um, I basically uh, was a bad boy for 22 years. Yeah, I drink. Was a bad boy for longer than that. Where you try drink soft drugs on women. I ended yeah, up with 13 near death experiences, oh, three yeah, three yeah. drink drives, and barred from 22 pubs near Bath City. But um, I wonder if I have one drink now, it takes me a week to recover. So maybe that's see, I, well, that, that's the first one. The one that the, the, up, the first it? one is the one that does the damage. One leads you to two, and, that, and, and that's the way it goes. I, I could go and get drunk now, uh, but, but it, I probably wouldn't wake up. In ten out of ten people die. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, no, you're telling me, yeah, of course. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm here, um, because uh, I love people. Dad was from Derry, do you know what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Line. I do, Belfast, yeah. But I, I mean, go there and would, would you consider yourself to be a good person? Uh, well, now I would. Hmm. Well, let's see if you're a good person, not according to man's standards, but according to God's standards. Yeah, play along yeah. with me. Well, now, he might help me. Well, he's he's he, well, he's the only one that can because the oh, truth the, the the truth is, yeah, yeah. Um, he's going to judge everyone by the same standard. His standard, the Ten Commandments. You've heard of the Ten Commandments, yeah, yeah, haven't yeah, you? Absolutely. Let's go through three, four, five to see how well you'll do in that day. Sorry. Broken all of them. Right? Well, well I've, I've broken them all, right? So yeah. I'm not judging you. Judge yeah, yeah, yourself. Yeah. Judge yourself People by the change, standard. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, what's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan, David, nice yeah. to meet you. You haven't done prison. The, the, the ninth commandment says, the, the ninth commandment says, thou shalt not I, I bear false witness. No, no, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not lie. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever told a lie in your life? Have you got a detector? Have you, have have you? you ever, have you ever yeah. told a lie? Have you? Yeah, I mean, I'm asking you, have you ever told a lie in your life? Yes or no? Well, I was a kid. Or should I say, how So have I. Oh, just God, just be honest and true. No, 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 just be I honest and true. No, I'm, no, I'm no. not judging you. There's no, only no. one judge, God. Yeah? yeah? Of course. Now, the if commandment says, they should not steal. Have you ever took anything in your entire life, irrelevant of the value, and not give it back? Have I ever shoplifted? Yeah, took took no, anything. No, 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 no. Downloaded music, anything. Yeah? Have I ever stolen anything? That's the one. Of course. But not so, so have I. Yeah. Right? Now, mm. um, what do you call someone who steals? Thief. Well done, second question, right. You're doing well. We'll do we'll do three more and we'll stop, yeah? Right. Have you ever took God's name in vain? Have you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you ever took God's name in vain? OMG, the name of Jesus come out of your lips. Only when an argument with my wife. That's what I mean. That's taking it in vain. That's taking it in vain. She might have said it as well. If if uh, if I was to take your mum or dad's name, your brother or sister's name, someone you loved, and I used their name as a four-letter filth word to express disgust, well, you'd be, be in you it, you'd be offended. Of yeah. Course. How much more offended is God when we use His Son's name, Jesus? It's never the false religions of Allah and Buddha and all of that. It's always the name of Jesus. I think people do it without thinking. That's what's called taking it in so vain. We we don't even know we're doing it. Course, yeah? yeah. Now in the old, that's called blasphemy. Yeah. Right, third commandment. In the Old Testament, that would have been a death sentence. I would have been dead a long time ago, and so yeah. would you for doing that. Yeah. yeah. Two more. Are you married? Are you married, Jonathan? Fortunately, no. I, well, I was single. I was single for ten years. I was. I'm married now. Like, but I mean, the seventh it's commandment. Now, the yeah. seventh commandment says, "Thou shalt not commit adultery." You know what adultery is. If I haven't affair, she hasn't affair. That's committed yeah, adultery. It, I have, I but I was single for ten years before I met her. Yeah, I've always been single. There's two ways of committing adultery. They come and go. Two. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 27 and 28, You have heard it said of them of old time, they should not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looks at a woman mm -hmm. to lust after her sexual desire has committed adultery with of her course. already in his heart. Why? Yeah. Because he's going to judge our thoughts, our All words, and done. their actions. Right. Yeah. Last one. I thought... The most important one. The well, it is. Because the sixth commandment says, oh. they should not kill, they should not murder. Yeah? Well, I thought, not yet. you can't get me there because I haven't done that one. Yeah? But I was, I was wrong. The thought life... Yeah. yeah, one John three fifteen says that whosoever hates his brother, mm. have you ever hated anyone in your life? Only myself. Okay, but you've you never hated anyone in your entire life. Whosoever. I no, I haven't. I'm not a hateful person. Well, listen, listen. I don't know how you, it. I don't right. know how you can well, well, hate. I'm getting hate. To, uh, hate is. Um, Love and hate. I'll tell you what it is. It says in one John three fifteen, whosoever hates his brother has committed murder of the heart, and you know that yeah. no murder have eternal life abiding in him. So mm. God sees our thought life. When we thought all manner of evil against anyone, I've done it to my own family, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we've committed murder. Of, we've murdered them in our heart by not our evil. Not literally. Not literally. No. Sp right. Exactly different. That's right, the, the thought life. So that's five of the ten. I'll stop yeah. there. Thank you for being honest and bearing that's with right. me, um, yeah. Jonathan, because it yeah. takes good courage to, to, to say that and I'd see that, see us yeah. for who we truly are. Yes. Yeah? yeah. Now, ten out of ten people died. God forbid 
It's appointed unto men once to die and after the judgment, but we will all get an appointment with death. Now, God forbid. If you died today and you went, if you went before God, you died today and you went before God, and if God were to judge you, if He was to judge you by the Ten Commandments, we've done five. You'd see you now as a lion, thief, and blasphemous adulterer and a murderer at heart. Would you be innocent or guilty of God judging by Ten Commandments? We've only done five. That's for him to decide, isn't it? Well, he's already decided. His word tells you you will be guilty. And you'll be, uh, you'll be uh, like, like the rest of us, eight billion people, all guilty. We've all broke one of those at some stage or another in our lives. They're yeah? professional, don't they? Make doesn't work. No. I'll tell you why it doesn't work. So you'd you, 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 you be guilty, you, right? Yeah, go. Heaven or hell? Where does God put guilty people? I'd rather go to heaven, personally. Right. Now, hell is his eternal prison, just like here on earth. If I don't we, believe in hell. If we, well, I've been there, but I don't believe If I stand in the middle of a motorway and I say I don't believe in traffic, well, blindfold on, what'll happen? Depends, doesn't it? If, you know? If you're so, a ghost, you'd be all right. So, you'd be heading for a place called hell, his eternal prison, okay. yeah? Now, I does that concern like that, you? Does it? that concern you? Because it concerns me. Going to hell, I don't want you to go there. I don't want to no, go no. there. I don't want my family to go there in the near St. Dears. I've been to hell on earth, but not. So actually. how can God let guilty people like us, Jonathan, into heaven? Well, and you tell me. And that's what I'm going to give you good news yeah. now, yeah? yeah? How can he let guilty people like us into heaven and at the same time be a good, righteous judge? Well, over, can get to heaven. Over 2,000 years ago, he sent his son, mm. Jesus Christ. Now, you know this, and so does the majority of people, but you won't know this next bit. Yeah. When he was on that cross, yeah. he was the sinless son of God. He was paying, paying the price for our sins through his precious blood. He, we're sinners, he's without sin. You could be a member of the IRA no. and still go to heaven. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, 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 I heard what you, you said. That's but there it is, isn't it? Anything. But, but, but you have... to go to heaven. There's two things you must do to get there. I'm going to come into that in a minute. You can't yeah. get bus, can you? Right. So, yeah. that's hard for people to understand that Nothing. on the cross. But let me, ma let me make it easy, layman's yeah. terms. Yeah. Here on earth, we mm. broke the law. Lying, stealing, murder, right? Everyone, yeah, of course. Right? Of course. But on that cross, Jesus paid our fine through his life's blood. Now, yeah. if you got a hundred thousand pound speeding ticket, you're going to jail. You, you got no money. You owe a hundred thousand, right? I'm yeah. with you in the courthouse. We're it. both going to jail, right? Yeah. And someone walks in off. Someone walks in off the street, and they go, "Hold on, judge. I know Jonathan. I know David." Yeah. They've got no money. I've got plenty of money. I'll pay their you, fine. You've got plenty of money. I have. I'll pay their yeah. fine, right? Oh, no, you wouldn't know what to do that. How would you feel now? Yeah. You, you you'd, be gra right? you'd be grateful. I'd be more than grateful. That's I'll right. Buy them a drink. Well, that's what Jesus done on the cross. He paid our fine yeah. through his life's blood. Yeah. But in order to receive the free gift of salvation, there's two things we must do, Jonathan. Yeah. Number one, I done in my bedroom 20 years ago with tears running down my face. I was facing jail, three drink drives. I was yeah. facing Horfield Prison. I didn't go to jail. I just come out from there. Well, I, I was facing there. Mm. The, fir the, fir the, fir the first thing was yeah. was, to, was to repent directly to God, not yeah. to the priest, not, no. to the, not to the religion. We didn't sin against the religion. We didn't sin against the priest. Men, we sinned against God vertically. So it has to be a vertical repentance. All the different religions they can't save you. relate to Jesus. They can't save you. None of them. They're man-made traditions. Or every religion. Works righteousness. Catholic, Christian. In all of them, you have to do something to try and bribe the judge of the universe by your good works. Get and the job. Catholics, they get in the box and confess to a man. They didn't sin against the man, they sinned against God. The, the Muslims... So, the Muslims. So you're, you're conflicting religions? Then. I'm not. I'm saying religions Catholic. Religions are all works righteousness based. Is conflict, really? you have You have to... Obviously. There's only one saviour, Jesus Christ. Obviously. They're all coming together, ecumenicalism. And they're, me, and, they're, and, and, and they're trying to actually um, mm -hmm. remove Jesus from the picture. Without Jesus, they're damned. And he was the king of the Jews as well. They're, he's, they? they're damned. So, what I'm saying, oh, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this, right? On that cross, he, he paid our fine. That means when we come, we got to repent. Does it's the else first thing. To as long as I have. Right? Of Don't course, today. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been doing this for a few years. I'm thick-skinned man, right? Yeah, well, the first thing is, the first thing is to repent. Yeah. The moment we repent, ask forgiveness for no, our sins, we've church. lied, we've stolen, we've blasphemed, anyway. right? To to church, right? No, I don't my bedroom with tears coming down my eyes directly to God. I'm sorry, forgive me, I've lied, yeah. I've stolen, blasphemed, I'm a wretched sinner, have mercy upon me. Lord yeah. God, forgive me, yeah. I accept your son. Lord Jesus, be my Lord and Saviour. Are you a priest yeah? as well? That's the second thing we must do, is to transfer our goodness from ourselves yeah. and put our, because we're not good people, transfer again. our goodness and put our faith and trust in the Saviour Jesus Christ who paid the price for our sins. Absolutely. The moment we do, God promises, because he cannot lie, he will remit our sins past, present and when future. I meet him, I'll tell you. So wait, before you put your head in the pillow tonight, have a think about what I, I said to you. Like We're not guaranteed tomorrow. No. Have a good have a good day. As long as it's not a nuclear war, we'll be alright. Well you're not guaranteed you're gonna ten out of ten die anyway. 
You're going to face him sooner or later. Now, you, you can either face him as your judge or you can face him as your saviour. The choice is up to you. Yeah, but I'll make the right choice. Please do. Before you put your head in the pillow tonight. Right, David. Thank you.